Let's do a different example. Still going to use Tableau, and this time we'll use the data set from the first project. Uh, that was the Banna housing data set. Perfect. I'm going to bring this in. Nice. All right, so I've got this information. Remember, we were looking at sales price. Cool. So click on sheet. Now we're here. So one of the things that we wanted to look at was the living area compared to the sales price. All right, so we've got sales price on my y-axis, living area on my x-axis, but I don't have any values here. I just have this weird summation of the two that doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to come down here and get ID, which is each individual, and I'm going to drag that onto detail. Boop. Okay, now I have a little circle representing every house here. Cool. The um, sales price and the living area. If I go over to analytics, I can click on trend line and add a linear trend line. And when I hover over, you can see the regression equation. You can see my R squared and my p-value. All nice. Done, done, done. Looks great. Um, one of the things that the question asked was about other features though so let's see if we can add in some other features um, maybe we care about the bathroom situation so let's take um, full baths and we'll add that to color so as things get darker they have more full baths that's cool maybe though it's hard to tell because it's all blue um, so we could switch this to shape instead all right so now if it's got a little X, it's three. If it's a plus sign, it's two. And if it's square, it's one. You can see in my tooltip, when I hover over, I get the information on the ID, how many baths it has, living area, and sales price. Again, if we wanted to edit the way this looks, we can come in and we can say the sales is a price. So we'll do that. It's a dollar sign. And then we can say the living area is in square feet um, and then we'll say this is number of full baths and house ID. Let's do that. Nice. So now we have house ID, number of full baths is three, the living area it says it's in some square feet and the price is in dollars. Nice. Um, we also looked at um, fireplaces. Let's come over here and have one of these. Um, let's see. Uh, what about um, pool? Is that in here? Pool area is. Do we have one that just says, is it a pool? We may not have it in this version of the data set. Um, let's see if it has a paved drive. We'll do color on that one. Oh, so now I've got, no, it's not a paved drive. Um, I'm not sure what P means, paved probably. Uh, y. Now I've got three different regression lines all broken out for me. That's nice. Very helpful. Um, it did it by color. We can say, let's actually do it by size, and you'll see that things get bigger. It's a little harder to read, so let's switch that back to color. Um, oh, now I've got big color. Oh, I did. That's still, I want that to be color. Um, I lost my bathrooms, so we'll come back and say um, full bath is my shape. Okay, great. So this is um, all that is required. Um, I can now, I'm gonna go over to this little button, oops, to this little button, um, and bring this in as a um, dashboard, name this Banna Housing Sales Price. Got the name up there. I'm going to edit this because I like them to uh, float. And I want that one to float. To separate them like that. Um, I'll just move them a little bit more since there are some values here. Don't want it to cover up my values. 
It's giving me a small size. I'm going to switch this. I can just say, um, let's see, to automatic. Whoa, that's a huge one. Let's not do that. Let's just go back to fixed size. Um, generic web browser. That looks nice. Yeah. All right. And we can make that a little larger. Cool. Banner housing sales price. Full bath, paved, lines. Um, I can change this from living area to square footage. Okay. And we can go ahead and click on this one. We'll change this to sales price in dollars. Cool. Um, so you can kind of grab things, you can look at them that way. But they're all here. You can see my regression equation, and I go to save. And save this to a housing example. And there we go. Um, it's live. It's up, you can come click on it. You can sort, you can filter things out. You can say, um, actually, exclude all of my yellows. I'll drop them out, you don't see the yellows any longer. Um, if I want to get rid of all my baths, let's get rid of people that have no baths. And I really care only about this segment, so we can kind of look and see how there's a trend line that's being drawn just by that group. So we go. Here we get a new trend line just based on those values. It's really helpful. You should get a little trend for these guys. Um, so it also gives me the regression equation. All right, and that's it. I'll save this and post it.